Hey guys, it's me, Christina, and I have a book review on Goodnight Sweetheart by Teresa. This is the author. Um, so, um, this book is about a girl named Abigail Donovan, and she, um, is supposed to be writing her second novel, but she can't, and when she goes to this book signing for her, like, which is, like, a meeting, and she hasn't had one in months, and, um, no one shows up, and she has to dress in a bunny costume. So, when she mostly realizes her career is, like, she doesn't really have a career anymore, and all she has is her cats and her friend Margot, and her agent signs her up for Twitter. And there is where it all begins. She meets Mark, a English professor on sabbatical, I think. Yes. And um, he is traveling the world and shows Abby where all the places he's been and they talk and they laugh and they made me laugh and they made me cry. Their relationship was so adorable and I love them as people like like you know like when sometimes you read a book about romance and you love the romance but the people are sometimes so uninteresting that it sometimes the romance loses interest. But I loved Mark. He was funny and witty and smart and Abby was really smart and funny and she was this amazing author that won a Pulitzer was um who won a Pulitzer Prize and but Mark, like, convinces her to write her second book, and he's like, you gotta do it, you gotta, like, you're, um, and she is, like, not convinced that she can do it, but she tries anyway, and then she learns something about Mark that she's not too happy about, and he's been lying to her, but he had a good reason, and um, it's, he lied to her because he is sick and he's in the hospital and he has not been traveling the world and she wants to go see him, but he, um, doesn't want to put her up with that. So what happens is, um, uh, when... Um, Abby gets a iPhone. She gets a tweet from Mark's younger sister, Kate, and she she tells um Abby that he had a message for her, and then so Abby is now searching everywhere to find Mark, but it just ends up to be that he has been in New York the entire time. And I love this book, and when the ending seriously made me cry. And it was so cute, and I love this book, and I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. So I hope you guys enjoyed this book review, and I'll see you next time. Happy reading!